Dog, stand still. What's in your face? What is that? Are those your eyeballs? Oh my god! Oh my god! That is just awful! Is this normal? Is this something that occurs? First you're floating and now your eyeballs are just out of your head. Dude, did you see what's going on with your dog over here? Jesus Christ, sorry. Ha, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. What are you talking well, about? It's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. After talking life, about the eyeballs? Making useful things for yourself. Interested? I'm just gonna end it here. I think I get the idea. Okay, say no more. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. You think Cheyenne will forgive you for not helping her eyeballs? Mom. Oh, whoops, I wasn't paying attention to what she was saying. I was thinking about this horror show. Jesus Christ, man. Am I playing, like, a broken version? This is a download. This isn't a corrupted disc. You know, this is just the game that you, you download and play. Jeez. Alright. Howdy. So I guess I'm gonna head back to town now. So I just wanted to point out, um, the first time I played this game, I think I kept doing the tutorial mission. And in this next part, you're supposed to find like a Brock flower or something. And of course, I end up fighting some enemies. And I ate the Brock flower by accident, because I'm a dummy. And there was no Brock flower in the entire vicinity besides that one. So I had to, to go walking, searching for like an hour to find another one. And that was all just to, to complete the tutorial quest. And of course my friend thought it was hilarious, because that's always what happens to me when I play games like this. But like, what, what game lets you eat a quest item, right? Am I walking like slow? Oh, it's probably because I have this out, huh? Let's put that away. There we go. Where am I supposed to go to next? Oh my, does it show on my map? Okay, I guess back in here. Let's see. Done being nice. Uh huh. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, Ringo, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Whoa, relax, man. We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Dude, get... what do you want? Yeah, what, Ringo? You got the one of the Beatles hostage? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Can't do that. What's that help you take over this town, Jesus? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. You can't do that. Uh, what were you in prison None for? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Oh, I almost have enough speech. Yeah, forget about it. Forget about it. All right, I'm just gonna. Yeah. This is this. This conversation can serve no more purpose. What? Did he just? Look like he ran through the wall. This game's a li little glitchy, I have to say, so far. Oh, whoops. It's kind of rude to go behind the counter like that. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad Have I? I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Um, yeah, what was that argument about, lady? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. <laughs> Needs a place to hide. I need a place to hide, he was please. Just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. I just want to play me drums. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Cobb. Is that the dude who was complaining? 
You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Yeah, it sounds like he's just causing a lot of trouble. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Hmm. All right. All right. Hmm. <laughs> happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Wow. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Hey, I could, I could deal with them. Well, this seems kind of a redundant question. If I help Ringo, Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the Powder Gangers? Well, they probably won't like me very much. Anything interesting going on the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. NCR and the Legion of Doom. Got it. Uh, let's let's get out of here. Let's be careful. Let's do out there. something else. All right. Oh, doggy, please. You need to fix those eyes. You got anything to say, old man? Howdy. Bad trouble. Bad trouble. Welcome. <laughs> All right, so he doesn't really have much to say. Yep. Fair enough. I don't feel like I've really done much, so let's let's try to do at least something else. She said that the Ringo was holed up in a up some hill or something. Let's see, is there like a map or something? This must be the DLC stuff. Oh wait, quests. Offer to help Ringo deal with the Powder Gangers, okay? Oh, that is my active quest. X. Oop. Up there? So I guess I just keep going up here then. Oh right, it was like in a gas station, I think. Oh, that's where I got the, the Sunset Sarsaparilla. All right. He's not really holed up. I walked That's right in there. That's enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Listen, I'm just a big fan, okay, Mr. Ringo. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard. That's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Caravan. What is that? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's huh. why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. This You'll is very strange. Deck, I walk so into this guy who's stairs. in the middle of running away so, from killers, you feel like playing and the first thing he's doing, he's explaining to me some, like, strategy card game. It's like if you just walked in, of this, you know that you know that this guy has, like, some hits out on him? He's like, are you here to kill me? Oh, no, I'm not here to kill you. Oh, uh, you want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh? Man, it's pretty cool you do these monsters, man. Uh, let, let's try it out. Let, let's give it a Don't little worry. shot. I'm not that good of a player. Okay, I have no idea. What am I looking at? Uh, I'll raise you, I guess. I'm not gonna put in all my money. I'll put in two. And I'll accept. Oh my god, I have no idea what this is. Um... 
What did I just do? Is this like war? Uh... Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm doing. This was a- this was a mistake. Let's randomize. And now let's, uh... Seven? Nine. Ten. Ace. Well, I also have the ace. Eight. Nine. Wait. Is that not how that works? Oh, uh, you probably need the same color? Eight. No. Oh, uh, I don't have the right color. Oh man, I don't have any of the right colors. I might have screwed myself right now. Oh boy. What? Okay, I am... Oh wait, you could put cards on top of their cards? Gosh, this is just confusing. Am I winning? Am I losing? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to edit this out. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god, I need to end this. I'm in hell right now. I didn't think I'd be playing this in Fallout. Uh, yes, please, just forfeit. Let's get out of here. Thank God. Oh my God. Okay. What is it? Did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for yeah. you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Maybe you should settle it in a game of caravan. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Hmm. Maybe I could help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Alright. So, we just need to get some more people in town to help us. I think, uh, Sunny would probably help. Start with Sunny oh, there you go. She's been friendlier than most around here. Sure thing, buddy. What did you do right there? What's down here? I didn't do nothing. Gosh, this game is a little weird, I have to say. Anything interesting here? Just a box, I guess you can store stuff there. Whiskey, okay. All right, we have a mission now. We are gonna round up the town to help our good buddy Ringo. He said to ask Sunny. Apparently she's, you know, f friendly enough that she'll probably help. So let's go talk to her. Were these bikes always here? Huh. Ah, uh, the good old Easy Pete. I bet he'll help. Hello. Hello. Howdy. Uh. Nope. No option to help. Maybe. If, maybe if I like butter him up a little bit, talk about him. Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. You ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once. Way out east by the river. Nope. Alright. Yep. Hey, Easy Pete's just not a fighter, you know? But, uh, Sunny smiles. I've seen her kill a thing or two, so. Sure, she'll be down. Howdy. Hey, your eyeballs are better, dog. Look at that. Well, I'm glad that you, you got all better. Nice. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, um, unless those gang gangers get us. Say no more. I'm in. 
That was easy. Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Dokab talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, That's a good point. You let a bully take an inch and, you know, the gopher will take a month. Whatever the saying is. You could don't don't let bullies bully you, basically. Might I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. Whoa. He just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, Easy Pete. There's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. All right, Trudy. So I need to talk to Chet, Easy Pete, Trudy, and they're all optional apparently. And the doctor. Um, I'm just gonna go right for them. I'll be waiting. So let's talk to Easy Pete. He's nice enough. Figure he'd probably help. Hello. Howdy. Too dangerous. Only kill all yourselves <laughs> if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Damn. Safer that way. Oh no, I don't have enough explosives. Well, let's see what happens if I try it. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor <laughs> up. Blow the whole town up. Blow the whole town up. Okay. Damn. Yep. Okay, maybe I do need her help. I'll keep an eye out for the powder gangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Uh, okay, so I just it's just not something I'm gonna be able to do. Damn. Okay, Trudy. And Chet. <laughs> I guess I just have to talk to them then. Is that Trudy? Oh, yep, that's Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Aw, oh, man, I still don't have enough. I should have upped my speech. Can I just try it? All the more reason for me to sit this one out. I'll be rooting for you, though. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's not looking good for me so far. Hmm. Okay, who's Chet? Are you Chet? Nope. Need to talk to Chet. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Are you Chet? Nope. Chet, you in here? Oof, I don't want to steal anything. Let's see. Looks like this place is pretty abandoned now. Well, he's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, Chet? Did he live on a trailer? Chat, you in here? Nope. Am I dumb? Is there like on my map pointing me out? They part. Yep. It looks like they are pointing me out. Well, I'm a dummy. That's not new. And if I can't get Chet to help, then I guess my final resort is the doctor. That's where Ringo is, so I don't want to go in there. So maybe down here. Seems like everyone would be around this area. I don't think I've been in here yet, have I? Is this Chet? That's Chet, there we go. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. Uh... Here we go. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Thousand? I do I don't think I have that many. Right. Oh 
Okay, I don't have any help from these guys. Jeez. How much money do I have anyways? Let's see, uh... 66. And he wants a thousand. I should be selling my crap. Remember I was supposed to sell all that crap? I'm oh. trying to do a legit playthrough. I don't want to cheat. Oh, there you are. So this is going to look stupid, but this damn DLC started me off with all this crap. And I don't want it. I want to do this a legit first playthrough. Um, how do you sell stuff? Okay. I'm going to assume you start off with the weathered pistol because that just sounds like you would. Okay. That's definitely DLC. That's definitely DLC. Oh, a grenade rifle? Jesus Christ. Like, how, how is anyone supposed to just play the game for the first time here? He can't even afford to give me anymore. I, couldn't even, I can't even sell everything here. All these little handguns and stuff. Okay, whatever. I think I pretty much sold most of my stuff. Uh, what do you have? What do you have for sale? I you know I'm still kind of cheating because I got all that money though. But that's this game's fault for doing that. Gosh, this is so complicated. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. You know, I need people who could actually help. You know, what's this stuff? You could make stuff here. I don't know. Let's go to the doctor's office. Is that a, is that it up there? There we go. I'm sure good old Doc Mitchell will help. You know, out of anyone. Well, it's kind of spooky right now. I had hope you wouldn't need to come see me again. Lighting's so kind of ominous. What can I do for you? Hurt. I need help, Doc. Uh, there we go. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. So there we I'll go, see? I can spare. This is a real guy right here. Thank you. You take care. Thank you, ominous looking doctor who all of a sudden is, is very creepy. Step out of the dark. Put on some light, man. Here. Come over here. There you go. Now you look normal again. Don't look at me like that, though. Alright, let's go tell what's her face. Uh-oh, where's the exit? There we go. Nope, that's ain't the exit. Can't even not get lost inside of a house. This way? Ah, there we go. Alright, so we have one person in the town willing to help us. And he just gave me stim packs, which I already have a lot of, I think, because of the DLC. What kind of DLC is that? You know, get the DLC and we'll make the game easier. I'll keep an eye out for the powder gangers and meet up with you and Ringo when the time comes. Okay. Prim. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. I'm not sure about Prim, but I guess that'll be my next location after we deal with these powder gangers. I guess I just go talk to Ringo now. I'll tell him that we got a couple people to help at least. Man, I wonder if I picked the three or whatever like correct skills that I needed and if I got everyone to help like what would have happened oh there he is so what's going on did Sonny agree to help us yep well I guess that means we're ready to go uh let's do this all right I'm ready I hope time to look alive oh the there she is here to play how many are there at least six Joe Cobb included they look pretty mean. All right, six of them, three of us. I'll be Let's set do up it. The store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right. Oh, she vanished. Let's see. What kind, what, what kind of gun do I want to use here? Okay. 
pick out a pistol. Strength two, the varmint rifle. I don't know if that has just really bad accuracy or what. Let's try a handgun this time. See how that works. Oops, okay. Oh, that hand texture looks awful. It makes me look like I'm a, a lizard or something. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna let those dang powder gangers run over the town. Even if no one else wants to help. I don't I don't know why they wouldn't want to help. Oh god, they're already fighting. Come on, let's whoops. How do you uh how do you I don't know, I forget what the buttons do. 